Hey guys, this is problem seven, uh, problem six from chapter seven, on the section on the natural response for an RL circuit. So we have a 48 volt independent voltage source um, going in this direction. So that's really negative 48 volts in that direction. And this is 4 ohms to 18, 1.5. We have a 0.5 Henry inductor and 12.45 here and 10 ohms here, 54 in parallel with 26. And what we're trying to find is the current through the 26 ohm resistor. <laughs> the current between, the, sorry, somebody's staring at me filming. That's really awkward. Okay, so. 26. Um, okay, so we're looking for the current uh, through the 26 ohm resistor. That is what we're seeking. Okay, so the key to this is um, looking at the initial, the looking at finding the current through the inductor, and then, well, let's take a step back. Let's look at this circuit at before time zero. Before time zero, we have. Um, the circuit is closed, right? It opens after time zero. So we have a circuit that looks like looks like this. Forty-eight volts. And I'm gonna just bring these together and call it six. And then we have eighteen here. And then here we have one point five. And the switch is closed which means the inductor is a short because it's in its steady state. So it looks like that. And some current I sub L is flowing through it. We're looking for that current. We need to find it because once the switch opens, then it's going to start going places. And it's going to go through, split here, and go through I, uh, the 26 ohm resistor. So we need to find the initial current through the inductor. So to do that, I use source transformation. 48 in parallel with 6 is going to give me, or 48 in series with 6 is the same thing as 8 amps in parallel with, um, with 6. So that is going to be the same circuit as this. Oops. 8, 6, 18, 1.5. So that is the same thing. I've got 8 amps, uh, and so my 8 amps is going to split. It's going to split three ways. It's going to split here, here, and here. And I really don't care about these two at all. I only care about this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to use current division. And remember, current division says the current uh, will split in parallel branches like this. It's going to be a ratio of the equivalent resistance over the branch that you're looking for. So I'm going to take the equivalent resistance and, and um, divide that by the branch that I'm looking for, which is the 1.5 branch. So 6 in parallel with 18 in parallel with 1.5. That should give you an, R, an equivalent resistance of 1.125. And then... The branch I'm interested in is the 1.5 branch. That's the, the branch that is the inductor. So you multiply that by the 6, and you should come up, oops, not 6, but 8. And the initial current is through the inductor. This is IL is going to be 6 in that direction towards the ground, which is actually negative in that direction. So now that we know what it is, I'm going to erase all of this, because once the switch flips, the rest, it disconnects it from that part of the circuit. And now I know that I have an initial 6 amps going this way, right? So what equation describes that? I L of T is the initial I that's going through the inductor times E to the negative T over tau. Tau is a time constant that describes how a, um, an inductor dissipates its power. So the constant is going um, for an RL circuit. For an RL circuit, tau is R over L. But when we look at this, what the heck is R? R is the 
resistance seen by the in inductor. So what does this inductor see? It sees these two first, right? So it sees 10 plus 12.5.45. And it sees that that is actually in series with 54, which is in parallel with 26. So when you put all that together, you should come up with that it sees the R that it sees is 40. So all of this sub, um, simplifies into 40 ohms. So that's my R that goes in here. And then my L, oops, it should be L over R, sorry. L over R, so L is 0 0.5 and R is 40. So my tau is um, 0 0.0125. And if you go one, if you divide by tau, one over 0 0.125, that is going to give me 80. So the equation that describes the current through the inductor is going to be, um, first of all, this is negative current, right? Because positive is really going up. This is my ground. That makes that negative 6. Negative 6 e to the negative 80 t. That describes that current. But what describes this one? Well, I'm going to use current division again, and we're, it's going to, the current, this current is going to split, right? We've got 6, negative 6 going here, and it's going to split and go like that, and go like that, right? So, how do we, so we use current division again. Current division says that the current will split, this 6 amps will split um, between these two branches in the, um, in, from the equivalent resistance divided by the branch that we're interested in. So, 54 in parallel with 26, that is going to be an REQ of 17.55. Use current division. Current division says take that 17.55 over the branch that I'm interested in, which is 26, multiply by, we're not going to multiply by negative 6.5. E, negative 6 e to the negative 80. The reason is, is we're looking for I naught. I naught is shown to be going in that direction, in the opposite direction. So we need to insert a negative to indicate that it's the opposite direction of what, what is really happening. So then this is going to be negative. You uh, take the opposite of that. It's that 6 e to the negative 80 t. And when you do that, you should come up with 4.05 e to the negative 80 t amps. And that is the answer to this problem. Make sure to share this video if it helps you. Thank you.